the 28 to 70 millimeter f2 lens which makes it pretty much the fastest decent zoom on the market at the moment of course you got the likes of the 2845 f1.8 but that's only for lumix and sony but this lens has always kind of excited me and since it came in used i was like i've got some time on my hands so let's actually review it and give it a go so i took this into kind of christmas market and had a little bit of a you know a fun time with it the weight of this lens is actually 1430 grams which <laughs> makes it a chunky little beast actually it's that for a reason because you got that f2 aperture it means it's amazing in low light situations giving you a really good background separation from you know your photos in general even at 28 which is actually quite nice to actually have a play with when shooting with it there was a nice kind of like separation between my subject and what I was actually shooting. So the lens is equipped with a nine bladed aperture ring, which means the bokeh is very creamy and it's just really quite nice to be honest with you, very pleasing to the eye. And like I said, it's pretty much suited towards a number of different kinds of photography. The lens itself has absolutely amazing autofocus. And on that note, I just did this one continuous shot where I went between a number of different subjects and decided to see how quickly it would adjust and pick the focus that I really wanted it to. And I must admit, I was continually impressed with what this lens is capable with in terms of like a dock kind of situation and making sure that the focus is where I want it to be in any given situation. Yeah, I was impressed. It's really very powerful. You've actually got your nice kind of like ring at the front of it, which has a click, which you can change to your aperture control, your ISO, your shutter speed, anything that you really want to be able to control. You can do it in the custom menu inside of the camera. Of course, you've got the zoom here as well. It is an external zoom, so it does come out of the camera, which, you know, I don't think they could really achieve Otherwise, it's just something that would have happened. I mean, the 2470s have always been an external zoom anyway. And then you've got your manual focus ring there as well. Manual focus works pretty well. It is fly by wire, so it does feel a little bit too sensitive in some situations. But again, it works quite well. The only thing to mention about what's on the camera is you've actually got your um, manual or autofocus switch there, as well as your gasket around the back and then also your mount. Camera Center every now and then actually has some really cool things that come in second hand. Also, you guys did actually love the 28 to 70 millimeter f2.8 video I did recently. So I thought it might be quite cool to revisit a good old Canon for some absolutely quality stuff. What's up? Come on, say hi. Hi. People these days. First impression, this is the first time I've ever actually looked down this lens. I've been excited to have a play with it for a little while. For some reason, the camera thinks I want to be trying it out in f5.6 though. Not really. I mean, why would you want to try it out in f5.6? You gotta really, you know, put the pedal to the proverbial metal and have it f2. With it being an L range lens, you're expecting quality out of this and super sharpness. And on that note, the sharpness of this lens is, well, you're not gonna be surprised. It's pretty damn awesome. And bear in mind, this is 11 times zoomed in. This is on the 28, now going to the 70. Then switching over to the 70 millimeter end of the lens, coming in, you're not gonna be surprised here. The sharpness is just on point throughout the range and for 3,000 pound, really expecting it to be. This 28 to 70 millimeter is the favorite amongst people who are doing wedding photography and videography, as well as just events in general. It's a powerful lens that gives you a lot of options. However, you are expecting to spend a lot more when it does come to this range of lens because 28 to 70 F2s just don't generally exist in the camera world right now. That may change soon, but right now, it's pretty much this or nothing else like it. So to purchase this lens, you're gonna be out of pocket around about 3,299, which means this is not a budget lens. And looking at the comments from the 28 to 70 millimeter F2.8, people even laughed at that being a budget lens. But when it comes to Canon EOS R, and you want that sort of like constant aperture 
low constant low aperture you know you're going to end up spending a pretty big amount of money and you know these lenses kind of fall into your luxury kind of tier as it is an l range piece of glass unlike that 28 to 70 millimeter f 2.8 that did achieve that did work out that lens did perform really quite well and especially under the strenuous situation i actually put it under this lens last night and during the day it's it's not necessarily a lens that I would say I would walk around with all the time because it is very, very heavy combined with the actual body. I think that it's the only real downside that I can actually see about it, but it was going to be heavy anyway because it is an F2 lens. Other than that, the performance when it comes to sharpness, as I, as I was looking for the photos, was absolutely perfect. For video, I mean, this is a videographer's dream. You've got a low aperture at a decent zoom, which means you've got the ability to get so many different style kind of shots. Either a lot of us are going to be like, this is what I aspire to have. It's powerful, big, heavy. Mm. But if you are looking for just a general good mid-range zoom, that 2870 works out pretty well. Would I, if I had the money, put put it into upgrading to something like this? I would. If that, I would be looking at the 24 to 70 f 2.8 as having that extra 4mm range is quite nice. And it's a little bit more kind of in that vlogging, everyday photographer's kind of, you know, ballpark. But when it comes to this lens, this is not your everyday kind of photographer's lens. This is your professional's lens. This is a lens people will take with them to, like I said, weddings, events, general corporate shoots, portraits. It does everything you really need it to in that retrospect. And thinking of it as a sort of like, how can I make my gear lighter whilst also making it heavier? And this lens kind of fits in that because you wouldn't necessarily need to bring your 35mm f1.8. You don't necessarily need to bring a 50mm. You don't, don't necessarily need to bring out all of these other lenses. Instead, you can just take this. So it's one of those weird kind of areas where buying this would mean you'd end up not needing a lot of other things. But also, if you want to have a nice, light, everyday carry setup, this isn't it. Did I enjoy shooting with it? Yes. I think I would really love to see it on uh, one of their new cinema cameras and have a little bit more of a play with it. Um, but overall, really quite impressed with this lens. And I can't wait to see if uh, any of the other manufacturers release something similar as it's going to be an interesting time in the market. But yes. So my conclusion is this lens is every photographer, videographer's dream. You can... When and if you end up getting it, you're going to be very happy with it. It's a high quality, efficient and powerful tool for the creative. It's not for your everyday consumer. It is a heavy. And with that, there's a lot of drawbacks to actually wanting to take this out and shoot with it. When it comes to an everyday kind of like shooting kind of experience, I would usually choose a prime as they do tend to be nice and light whilst giving, the, giving you that quality. But in this lens, you have all of the quality, the low aperture, the zoom, and everything you really want. So in that retrospect, I'll leave it up to you. Is this something that you would get or would you get something akin to the 2870 or the 2470? put a comment in, in down below if you enjoyed this video make sure you like follow subscribe if you want to see more have a good day